We were influenced by the traditional colors of Taipei. The earthy red of the temples, which creates a sense of warmth. We kept it simple by using other earthy tones of red with beach, wood, and white for the rest of the apartment. My name is Chris Chu. I'm an interior designer and co-founder of Republic Design in Taipei City, Taiwan. The Never Too Small Monthly Edition, a newsletter curated by our team to take you behind the scenes of Never Too Small and introduce you to our favorite people, places, and projects from around the world. Subscribe today at nevertoosmall.com or visit the link in the description. The apartment is located in Datong District in Taipei City. Datong District is one of the oldest urban area in Taipei City which is surrounded by various old school buildings, including the Confucian Temple. And there is also one of the largest parks in Taipei City, which is called Yuanshan Park. The building is basically for residential purpose. Our client is a business owner who currently lives with a cat and she often travels for working purposes. So when she is in Taipei, she does not require a large space. The apartment was a large studio with high ceilings before the renovation. The bathroom sink was separate from the bathroom and the bathroom itself was only 1.6 square meters. We decided to rearrange the bathroom, kitchen and storage. A standard kitchen for day-to-day -day cooking and the dining area to eat and work at. As the ceiling in the kitchen is high, we were able to create a mezzanine on top. As you step into the apartment, you are immediately in the living room. As the client lives here alone, it was not necessary to have a separate entrance area. With this in mind, we created a utility brick wall. It can open and fold up when needed in order to hang coats or other items. The TV wall extends along all the way to the dining area and kitchen. We wanted to organize the TV, the brick wall, the dining, and the kitchen all along this wall. This creates a long pathway in the middle of the apartment. There is a chair by Drake with an art piece done by our studio which sits against the wall. There is a small shelf that is built into the wall under the TV. We painted it in an earthy red color which provides a bit of pop against the wood finished wall. As the TV is mounted above, this built-in shelf provides space for an Apple TV and some books but does not take up any floor space. The dining area sits between two walls and contains upper and lower storage. The lower storage is finished in made dark red laminate. Not only does it match with the brick wall in the living room, but the surface is also easy to clean. It has pantry space and a spot for a microwave. The tabletop for the dining table partially sits on the storage and can be easily removed to free up space when it would not need it. The kitchen size is enough for basic cooking as the client eats out most of the time. There is a single induction hob and a generous stainless sink. Above them is a range hood, some white storage cabinets and a white dishwasher. The balcony is at the end of the kitchen and also has space for the washing machine. There is a compact foldable staircase hidden in the ceiling of the mezzanine. The stairs are easy to pull down and climb up to the mezzanine area, which is planned for extra storage and a guest room. As the owner lives alone, the bedroom has everything she needs. There is a single bed and a wardrobe. And there is a grey full-length mirror which reflects the tiny room, creating an illusion of a bigger space. There is a small step up to the bathroom, which is behind a hidden door. The floor and half of the wall is terrazzo. 
At the back is a shower with windows made from glass window blocks. There are a couple of metal floating shelves in the shower that are thin and make the bottles look like they are floating. The bathroom has a toilet and a wash basin with a mirror cabinet on top. Today in urban areas like Taipei, more and more people are choosing to live on their own. An existing apartment can be a more affordable option for the next generation in urban areas. We believe we could upgrade the quality of space after renovation, especially for those old buildings which contain cultural and historical value. Thanks for watching. If you're an architect or designer with a project we could feature, please share it with us at nevertoosmall.com/submissions.